I'm Matt. If you don't know, I don't know sure you all know. And this will be my presentation of learning. And I hope you enjoy it. So my first uh, skill that I really thought I proved on to learn this semester was communication. The artifact I picked for communication was our Civil War artifact. And here you can see a picture of our group chat between me and Jordan. So the first example of using communication in the Civil War project was, in fact, this group chat. We would almost use it every night, and it would connect us together, and it would allow us to have a lot easier time coordinating things doing with this project. <coughs> Another really big point with the Civil War project that was good with communication was staying in touch with the teacher. If you're not staying in touch with the teacher, you're never going to know if you're doing something right or wrong. So, after every, or after every artifact and skill I learned, I'll talk about a book that I can write related to. If you don't know what book this is, it's Ender's Game, and it's about a boy who's raised in like two, in a year, a few hundred years from now, and then we've been attacked <laughs> by uh, these bugs, I guess, but aliens, and they've came two times, and they've almost wiped out the human race. And Ender gets raised to go hurt them, or go destroy them, I guess. But in his final battle, it was him. He commands five other commanders. And those five commanders, each one of them commands 30 commanders. And then those 30 commanders, they like send orders to the fleet. So I guess you could say in his spot, he had to have very good commanding, very good communication, because you have if you had anything borderline, you thought it one way and the other person thought it the other way, it could be confused with all those people. Second artifact. My second artifact is, or my second skill is organization. So, knowing me, I'm pretty unorganized. If you went into my backpack right now, there'd probably be 10 or 15 papers just randomly spin around. But the artifact I picked for organization was the Revolutionary Play. And as you can see here, there's a picture of our lines. So, in the Revolutionary Play, we used organization by, we had to organize everyone and where their lines were going to be, where they'd be on stage, and it took a lot of planning, and it took us a few days to do this. But after we finished that, we felt very good about it, and... I don't know, it's a good feeling when you feel organized. I bet you all can have felt that too. <laughs> and it also was kind of pain organizing where lines would be and knowing who would say them and remembering when who would say them because there's lots of times where you get confused. And I know in our actual performance, we skipped like a paragraph, which in that part had not was not as organized. So... Again, I used Ender's game, and at this point, when these kids are raised to fight the aliens, they're sent into space, and it's called Battle School, and it rotates around Earth, and they fight in there and stuff. And on the final, well, on his final battle, he went against impeccable odds of two armies versus his one army, and it's just like a game. It's not like real gun, by the way. And he leads them through it, and they kind of don't, they don't cheat, but they think a way around stuff. And it, he had to organize his army very, very well. If you read the book, you'll understand much better than that. So, third artifact. My third artifact, or my third, I keep saying artifact for this, but my third skill is teamwork. Teamwork in MPX is a huge part of it. If you can't work with a team, it's not going to be good because you can't work in project groups. But the artifact was K by bike. When we went, <coughs> when we went and worked on our bikes, and during this, we used teamwork in this artifact. Or when we were working on the bikes, by we had to take parts off together. Examples like the derailleur, the wheels, and we had to learn how to oil the bearings, and this took a lot of teamwork because we had to have multiple people holding different parts of the bikes, 
and if they weren't holding those parts of the bikes, bad things could happen. Another part in the KY bike was making group decisions on how to tackle problems we face. For example, I know in our group, for a while, we lost the nut, and we could not find that nut for around 30 minutes, and it made it very hard to put back that bike together. So, my third book that I'd like to represent to teamwork is Shackleton, Antarctica. If you do not know who Shackleton is, he is probably the best leader in the history of humanity. He, when it was in the night. Okay, and so I get yeah, but. In the 1920s, there was a big, big, almost like it was very popular for countries to send people to the South Pole and try to make it to the South Pole. But in his uh, case, they went to the South Pole with his 28 men. Their boat got stuck in the ice. It broke. They spent the winter on the ice until the ice melted. They then got stranded on an island called Elephant Island. And remember, this is 28 guys, and they had no extra food from the time they got off their that boat. And when they got to Elephant Island, the closest place where anybody was was 800 miles away. So four of the high people, including the captain, took a lifeboat those 800 miles all the way to another island, a whaling village, and they made it. And then the next summer, because, yes, the next summer, so that was around two years after the boat had sunk in the ice, they went back with a whaling ship back to where the rest of the crew was, and turns out everyone was still alive, and after those two years, everyone got rescued and survived. And I thought that showed a lot of teamwork just playing together. My fourth skill is persistence. So this semester in humanities, I started the, I mean this quarter in humanities, I started out with a grade of a D minus because I think I screwed up on one thing, but it was at the time where I also had some lo other low grades. But over this past quarter, I've been really trying hard to improve that grade. And at the moment I have a high B plus. So I really didn't make a difference. And I figured out that in persistence, you can always do more assignments and always do better. But another thing is, if you don't think you did well on that assignment that you're going to turn in in 10 minutes, you might as well just redo it. So there's a few times where I've done an essay and I've read it over and I'll just delete the whole thing and rewrite it because I don't like it at the time. It just takes a lot of time, but it worked, I guess. The book I picked for this is Ender's Shadow. Ender's Shadow is like Ender, Ender's Game, but it's from the point of view of another main character. <clears throat> this main character was a smaller kid, but he was very, very, very intelligent. So he always was very persistent about learning things and getting stronger since he was so small again. So much smaller than everyone else. But yeah, that's the book I chose for this one. My fifth and final uh, skill was responsibility. And the artifact I chose for this is the transportation infographic. So the thing, or the, the way I used responsibility and learned responsibility in this project was I had a, okay, so in this project I had some problems because I forgot to do some of the work and I kind of turned stuff in late and it kind of hurt my group. So I really learned that being responsible and doing your assignments on time is really make a, a difference and it makes life easier. As other people were talking about earlier, trust is a big factor. So if usually if you're responsible and you do your assignments on time, people gain more trust in you. Another big problem that I used to have a lot, big, another big problem that I still have problems with is taking respo responsibility for your own errors. 
I now do it more, but I still have to work on that. And for say, I may have put a error, or I may have done the wrong part. I should take responsibility for my actions. So again, I use the Shackleton book to represent this one because I feel he took an immense amount of responsibility helping those men and sailing those 800 miles in a 20 foot boat with four other men in the roughest water in the world. Thank you. Oh, Leo. You really think he was the best leader in all of humanity? It was, if you read up on him, it's pretty impressive. Because they stayed out on the open ice for 300 or something. It may have been one year, but they stayed on the barren ice across a whole winter in the 1910s. <laughs> in like 20 years. I knew that thing you were gonna say. I knew it. He was, he was a good he was a good leader and he was good at persuading people, but he may have persuaded people in the wrong direction. Does that mean the same thing as good? He just think he was great. He did great things. No, he didn't. No, he's good. He had a great. He was good at persuading people. <laughs> okay, back to back. Everybody, okay. any more questions? Can we... Like the, like, your project? So, sometimes, you know how in humanities, we always have those, like, those three-page papers? One time I wrote one, and I reread it, and I turned out I didn't like it, so I kind of just scrapped it and redid it. I actually thought it was kind of easy because I already knew what ideas I wanted to hit. I just wrote it a bit differently then. Mm -hmm. Leo again? Is this about Hitler? No, this is actually like something that will look good if you answer it properly. Um, as someone who started out with like a B minus and still has a B minus, what advice do you have for me? <laughs> <laughs> Be persistent, make up the things, or try to make up the things that you missed or got bad grades on and just always make sure on the classes that you have an easy <coughs> time on like I know you like this class because that does most work you should focus more time on the harder classes and usually less time on the easier ones so it kind of balances out. Jordan. What has been your favorite project or most rewarding project this year? That's a hard one. Okay, I have to say the Civil War project was the most rewarding because by the time we finished that, it felt very good. That took a very long time to finish. Any more? Mr. Hines? So, given where you are now as a learner, what do you think? is one of your strengths, and how do you use that to help you succeed in this class? I think one of my strengths is science, actually. I won't put that in a skill, but I think one of my biggest strengths is more the math science <coughs> portion, because it's much more interesting, and usually as the type of learners you are, if we're motivated to do something, we usually do it much better. Thank you. Anyone else? 